Thank you so much, John. We're here with our first night guest in a segment we're calling Night Guests. Night Guests. Oh, it's a night guest. With Rodrigo Fernandez. Rodrigo Fernandez is a filmmaker, a stand-up comedian. He has hosted his own Fox Sports show, has directed the Brazilian SNL, has had a cooking show, a morning show, has done a lot of different things, including theater and all this shit, and he happens to be my roommate and an easy guest to book currently. So, Rodrigo Fernandez, I'd like to introduce uh, our, uh, our audience to you. Rodrigo, hey, thanks for coming. Whew, hi, John. Uh, how's it going? Pretty good, sorry to bore you. No, it's okay, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the, the weather. Wasn't, wasn't right, good. the 85 degree weather that you decided to wear leather in. Yeah, yeah of course. Just, that's that's I'm I'm feeling at home now, <laughs> because I am currently home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same here. It's really easy yeah. when um the studio is is your house. Yeah. Um, I have a random would you rather question. Oh yeah. Um, these are always fun. Um, if you could meet your hero, mm -hmm. would you rather have your hero vomit on you, or you vomit on them? Oh, it would be awesome to, to have uh, uh, Jim Carrey vomiting on me. That would be funny. That would be funny. Not like from a, like a pleasure perspective, but more just a laugh. Oh, imagine that you're on a bar talking with Jim Carrey about life, comedy, and everything. And he's like, man, I'm, I'm not feeling good. Or he'll be like, I'm not feeling good. Because he's the guy with rubber yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. I'm not feeling good. And that <laughs> would be a story that you can tell for everyone. No one will believe on you, but in you, but it's a good story to tell. Yeah. So you wouldn't want to vomit on Jim Carrey if he gave you the opportunity. Like what if he said like, please, Rodrigo, it's an honor to meet you. Well, I'll say, now that you vomit on me, I guess it will be just fair. Hey, an eye for an eye. <laughs> yeah. A suit for a suit. Yeah, yeah. A shirt yeah. for a shirt. Yeah. Um, all right, well, fantastic. You originally were a blogger. Yep. Got into stand up. Yep. Well, I should say you were originally a DJ. Oh, yeah. And then like, you got into blogging. Yeah. You went f to stand up. Yep. You went into theater. You went into cinema. You eventually went on TV. You did a bunch of that stuff. When's it going to work out for you? <laughs> Man, that's the thing that I thought a lot about. And, and the answer is that in that, this point of my life, I really don't care too much about that. Because it's awesome. a is a uh, poor is a per pursuit pursuit yeah is a uh, is a pursuit for uh, approval of the others and then I realized that every time that I was on stage every movie that I act every play that I that I act I enjoy it so much that I can repeat that for the rest of my life so it's more about what make me feel good right. than the approval of the critics or of the big audiences so yeah. uh, i'm like i came here to learn cinema i want to make movies and i would love if people enjoy the movies mm. but making a movie is 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 nice being on stage doing stand-up in english it's awesome and i'm failing a lot doing this i'm failing a lot but being there deliver their joke no one laugh and it's like Fuck, I need to work better. I need, I need to work more on this. So right. it's been funny, this journey. I realized that what we have is the journey of our life. Mm. So I'm enjoying the journey. So you've been doing comedy around Chicago now. Yeah. In English. In English. And what is that like? It's been great. It's been great because the thing is, uh, when I came here, I already knew how to speak English somehow. But then I, I feel that I uh, already feel that I get better. I got better doing doing this. Uh, but it's, it's still it's still a little bit hard for me to remember in English mm. because you write a joke, and then when you're on stage, you need to remember the joke to deliver the joke. Mm. So it's kind of being hard for me to remember in English because now I'm just talking in English. Right. I'm not thinking too much about what I'm saying. I'm just saying. But when you're on stage, you need to remember. So right. that's the point that, that I didn't know. 
about doing stand-up in English in another language. You got any comedy bits that you can show us right now that you've been working on recently? Oh yeah, I have one. I was wondering, I was wondering the first guy who tried a lemon for the first time. First person to ever eat a lemon off the yeah, tree. Yeah, because I, I, I think that the guy, uh, he, he saw the lemon on the tree. So he was like, oh, it's, it's beautiful, it's a greenish. That's yeah. a lime, dude. Yeah, but like in Brazil, this is a lemon because the lemon and lime is just the size, but that that's, can, be a, can be a lime. On the joke, it, do, it doesn't matter. Uh, the guy saw this and he smelled it. He said, it smells good because really it smells good. So he was like, he was like okay. Hey, Eve, it's good. We should try it more often. <laughs> if we put alcohol. So that's why Adam and Eve decided for the apples. Yeah. Because, but they made cocktails out of the limes. Yeah. What? If they put water, I guess in some point they were like, if we put water, sugar, and alcohol, we can call it caipirinha, and in turn, in turn, in, in, in turn it to a very traditional Brazilian drink. Mm. That's what mm. they made. So Adam and Eve weren't thinking of making Cuba Libres because Coca-Cola wasn't invented yet. Yeah, and even Cuba. Cuba, yeah, Cuba <laughs> wasn't a thing either. <laughs> That's a good point. Now, do you think, um, I, I, I want to ask you a little bit more about the lemon guy. And also, when you deliver this, do you actually bring a lime or a lemon on stage? I, this is the first time that I did this joke. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You'd think you'd use like material that you know works. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. Choice. <laughs> All right. You sing a lot of '90s tunes. <laughs> you got me back into yeah. Natalie Imbruglia and yeah. Jewel again, actually. Yeah. And I've never made. A <laughs> what, what was the one that, that I, I I I sing so high pitch? Oh, which you, one was? I'm all out of faith. But what was that one? This is how I feel. Cold and I am shame, lying naked on the floor. Will you never change hey. into something real? Okay. While you're naked, I can see the perfect sky is torn. You're a little lame, I'm already torn. Torn. How? Thank you so much, man. It's great to be here. Thank you for all the things you've done for me and casting me in things without me having to audition, which is the way to go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, for letting me be the Rob Schneider in your films um, and in your everyday life. So I appreciate it, man. And thanks for all your support and for being here. And we will put links to Jacare Bangela's uh, YouTube, um, Instagram, where you have like 112,000 followers, your Twitter, where you have half a million. Yeah. Um, and again, folks, this is my very famous, very funny comedian and filmmaker and screenwriting uh, roommate here, Rodrigo Fernandez. Thank you so much, Rodrigo, for coming in. Thank you for having me, John. It's, it's a pleasure to share this part of my life with you. Jingle Bells is going to be sung very shortly after this interview. All right, back to you, John, for the breakdown. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.